Hello, welcome YouTube Nation, welcome brothers and sister in Christ. I'm Nikki Pratt. This is my channel. Jesus wants you. I know some of you probably already saying, what is up? What is up with Nikki? She don't really seem like herself. Yeah, I won't say that I'm, I'm not like myself, but I guess what you could say is, I don't know how to explain it, but when you kind of feel something in your spirit, of concern or I don't know it shows it shows but um, anyway enough with that how have you guys been doing I hope good I hope um, you had a good two weeks last past two weeks if any of you having some persecution or anything going on you know the bible said it was gonna happen it's happening but we're supposed to count it all joy and i count it all joy went to church tonight you know it's wednesday my bible study night and i'm telling you it's god is so amazing you know um, we had a visiting pastor there that brought forth a word and, uh, it was much needed. I already know it was for me, something I needed to hear. And I think, uh, the title was how to handle the haters. It was good, y'all. It was good. He was funny, too. He was really, really funny. Really, really funny. But the message was most important. Most important. Um, he said a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm actually dealing with. Which is... Uh, it's something. But anyway. Okay. I'm doing this video tonight uh, because early on in the week I was um, in my Bible one of my intimate moments in the word but I was led somewhere that I feel uh, I need to read to you guys so, with all that said, I want you to what? Get your Bibles. You already know. Me in a somber mood or not, don't come to this channel without your Bible. Alright. What I was led to was the book of Job, chapter 2. Okay? So, Nikki, you going to read the whole thing? Yeah, I'm going to read the whole thing. Let this be hearing in your spirit. Okay? Let these words resonate on your heart. Alright? Joel chapter 2. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants... Of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is not at hand a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and a strong there hath not been ever the like neither shall be any more after it even to the years of many generations 
a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is at the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots, on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be much pain, all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one in his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Therefore also now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, Sanctify the congregation, as assemble the elders. Gather the children, and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land, and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer, and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn, and wine, and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen, but I will remove far off from, your, from you the northern army, and will drive him into a land barren and desolate, with his face toward the east sea, and his hinder part toward the, utter, toward the utmost sea, as he stink shall, and his stink shall come up, and his ill savour shall come up, because he hath done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid. Ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth her fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad, then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he hath given you the formal rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore you to the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, and have dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed, and you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, 
and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion, in Jerusalem, shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Basically, that's the Lord's call to repentance. What we should be doing daily Anyway, but anyway, I want you guys to pray on that and uh, yeah, just just pray on that, meditate on it. Also, also, tomorrow I'll be doing another video. This video. If you thought my last two videos was something, this third video is not going to be about Michael Jackson. Um, before I tell you guys about what it's going to be about, I have to say thank you to Stephen Harris. Stephen, if you're watching, thank you very much because I did not know this Saturday or sometime this weekend, we're supposed to have a meteor shower. And he said in the comment that he think God was gave me the dream to give me a timeline of um, what was to come and what was actually been going on. It is amazing how it's all playing out, you know. Um, in that particular dream, I told you guys about a pregnant woman that was in there that had on beige. Well, um, I'm going to just say this. With everything in you, this is so important. The video that I'm going to do tomorrow... I got to bring what I got to bring out at all costs. Why? Because I deal with the truth on this channel. And that's all I know to do. Especially when God give it to me like he give it to me. I have to be obedient and bring this stuff forward. The way it came to me, I mean, it's just amazing. Because I had no idea that what I found out about today was right in my face. And it's got something to do with Bible prophecy. It is so serious. It is so important. The Bible says, my people will perish for the lack of knowledge. This video that I will do tomorrow is going to be power packed hitting some knowledge, some news that you can use that you need to hear. Do not miss this video. Matter of fact, when I do this video tomorrow, I need you to share it with as many people as you can. It's just that serious. It's so serious. If the video fall in the right hands, I might can lose my job. I'm just saying. But that's where we are. I put my faith in God, though. So, 
So, anyway, with that said, it's been 15 minutes already. I will pray for you guys continually. You pray for me. I'm going to keep bringing you the truth. Remember, Jesus wants you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.